We've just heard Sir Stuart talk about being half full. Times like this are very difficult. But I'm going to be a little bit controversial and actually say that for an entrepreneur, this is the time. And there are many entrepreneurs that I speak to that are out there that are saying, do you know what? I'm pleased this has happened. This is a time for me now to step up. This is a time for my business to really go up to the plate. This is the time where the competition that was out there that wasn't that good is disappearing. Recession, in my mind, can drive innovation. And the reason for that, quite simply, is because we can do more with less. We are forced to do more with less. I want to tell you why. Why National Enterprise Academy? Well, would you believe that up until this was started, we didn't have a fully accredited National Enterprise Academy in this country? The spark that made me want to do this was actually in my own business. And some of you might resonate with this thought process. I've become, for my sins, the chairman of Enterprise Insight. And the reason why I accepted that role was pure and simple. I wanted to do just a little bit whilst I can to raise awareness. Because through my television career, as I said earlier, I've been able to get and open doors. I'm not sure how long this career is going to last. I'm calling it a career because it's turned into one. I'm not sure if I'm going to be off your screens for good, and some of you might be thinking, thank God for that. What is my overall vision? Well, my overall vision is to roll out the National Enterprise Academy up and down the country to nine different regions. We are starting in Manchester and the southeast in September. We've been running since January this year a Pathfinder course of which nearly 30 students are sitting up in the top area up there. So the question that I have now for you is, would you be willing to help? This is probably going to come very unexpected to you, because I'm standing before you talking to you about entrepreneurship and young people and inspiring young people. But actually, I realize that there's one thing that I can't do. I can't deliver this without support from business. This is an employer-led initiative. I need employers and individuals and entrepreneurs out there to say, do you know what? That Peter Jones has started something here. I'm going to help carry that on. I mean, I've got a real belief, and, and this is a true belief, and if those, those of you, you, everybody's got kids out there, if I ever hear my kids say the word failure, um, I, I lock them in a room for a week. Um, I, I, I would request, if we have any power in this country, that we could take that out of our English dictionary and replace it with the word feedback. Yeah. Because that's all failure, in our words, is, isn't it? Yeah. It's feedback. We learn from mistakes. To be perfectly honest, I'm a little bit confused myself. Um, one minute I'm running a, a business, next minute I'm investing in one, the next minute I'm seeing some crazy people come and pitch me a toilet snake idea from Dragon's Den, um, then I'm walking down the BAFTAs or the Red Carpet Awards, um, and then I'm now trying to build a National Enterprise Academy. Yeah. So I'm, I think if, if a description of it as an entrepreneur is that I want to do it all before I die, then I'm that. If you look back at the last recession, we have to take that view that actually one thing that really came forward very well was direct selling. Well, we now clearly have the advantage of the internet. So any business that's surrounded by having a low cost base, that has connections to everybody globally. So internet-based businesses, I think, will flourish over the next three to six months.